are you going? Chicken? It's rude to bite and run. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy, gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go after Artifact of the Clever. Um, I have been swimming around in the ocean uh, with my two bassies uh, for quite a while, and I've only found one Basilosaur so far, but it did give us two Blubber. And I also killed earlier a Tuso, and I got eight Tuso... Um, arms thingies from it uh, which i guess makes sense because you know squids have eight legs <laughs> so uh so we just need two more of those um so we'll go back uh, to that location uh maybe later in this episode just depending on how our time goes uh but anyway the cave for the clever is down here and so it's par a partial water cave and a partial um uh dry you know there's dry land in it too and, uh, oh, is that it behind us? Maybe, yeah, I think that's it behind us. Okay. Um, there's supposed to be some, uh, Carcanos around here, too. I've seen them from the air before when we fly. Oh, look at that. There's a ship there. Well, that's cool. But I don't see them unless they're all the way down on the bottom or something. That ship is really neat, though. Look at that. Very cool. Um... Oh, yeah, there's the Carcanos right there. Okay. Check them out. They've got blue blood. This is really cool. One thing I've noticed, though, and I've mentioned this before, too, about the ocean on uh, fjorders, is it's not, uh, there's not as much to it as there, you know, is on a lot, of, a lot of the other maps. But, I mean, there's enough of it to make it fun, though. Okay, so I guess that takes care of all those carcanos. We got a bunch of, um, uh, oh, shit. Wow, look at that. Look at all the kite we got from that. Nice. Okay. So, let's head on into this cave. Uh, it should... I'm assuming it'll lighten up in here once we get a little further inside. It's kind of dark right now. I do have the gamma up. Oh, wait a minute. Are we... Are we going into a cave? Uh... No. It, we're not going into a cave. This is just a little underwater ravine or something. Okay, it, I know it's around here somewhere. I've never been in it myself. So we'll just keep looking around until we find it. Oh, okay. I guess I did... I think I got turned around, but yeah, this is it here. Um, must be it. Again, I can't, sorry, I keep forgetting to make a stupid GPS, but... Uh, that's where I'm at on the map. Uh, there we go. It's a little light there. So, what about 77 and then about 77, 67-ish. Okay. Hopefully it'll lighten up in here a little bit because it is super dark. Um, we could... What if we put our night vision on? That helps a little bit. Oh, do we have to go down there? Wow, okay, hold on a sec. Let's, uh... There. Okay. Uh, that helps a little bit. That must be where we go, because I, it looks like it's a... A dead end over here. Very cool looking though. Okay, well, let's go down in the hole. What could possibly go wrong, right? I 
This reminds me of that big, long underwater uh, cavern in uh, in Ragnarok. Oh. Is that it for the water? Hmm. I can kill some of these bats. Kind of hard to see down here. I've got my uh, Androsarchus with me. But we kind of need a bit of a clear landing. All right, good. So we got them out of the way. Let's dump that. If we can quickly get up here, quickly launch you, and then put you on neutral. Oh, I can get in there a little bit too. Okay, nope, 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 stay here. Okay, we gotta uh, get our shoes on here. Okay, you... Yeah. Let's put him back on neutral. I just don't want him running off. Okay, well, at least he's following basilosaur all right you need to be passive and the other one's following you okay okay we have control except for we actually need to go back here jump off and tell him not to follow the basilosaur follow me Okay, it seems like it's probably bright enough in here to where we don't need this on. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Wow, this is cool in here, man. Check this out. It has kind of like an atlas feel to it. Some pretty high level creatures. Goodness. 580? Are you kidding me? Damn. Oh, this is really neat in here. Check this out. 88 out of 200. Question is, is there Desmodus in here? Oh, there's Megalosaurus. Mega, Megalosaur, Megalosaurus, something like that. And they're awake because it's nighttime. All right, let's hang on to that. Don't know if we'll actually need it, but I might just dump all the rest of this crap. Really cool, man. What is that? Oh, that's another. Oh, cool. Look at that ship. That's nifty. Can that guy get out of there? Is he stuck in the water? Doesn't matter. He's dead now. That is really neat. Oh, can we go over there? We want to fly up and get that um, uh, loot crate anyway. Does this do anything? Nope. Doesn't seem to open. The 
this map is just so cool. I mean, it's it's got such a neat, you know, variety of, of places to go see. Just really cool stuff. You know, like the the one where we got Artifact of the Massive, I think it was, and we had to go through that labyrinth. Just stuff like that just makes this map so cool. Alright, let's just keep giving you melee. Okay, I'm gonna just leave you here here for a second. Oh, that was just the bug on passive. And let's pull out our Desmodus here. Man, there's not much room to land up here, is there? Um, we might be better off using the grappling hook. But let's go over here and look at the ship for a second. This is so neat. Uh, oh. Oh, shit. There's an invisible wall. You can't go any further than that. So it's just a decoration then. Still very cool looking, though. Look at that thing, man. So neat. I love it. I wonder how deep that water is. Uh, if we go like this... Uh, it doesn't look very deep. Okay. Alright, well let's just... let's uh, grappling up there. Because there's just no not enough room for me to land and if I try to... land or latch or whatever and jump off I'm probably gonna fall. Hmm, whatever. Why won't... Okay, why won't you take that? Okay, cool. Let's uh, continue on. As we go down this way. Oh, this is crazy looking. We got more enemies in here. Goodness gracious, that's a lot of enemies. Phew, okay. My biggest concern was if he gets uh, torpor, too much torpor, I think it's okay. Oh, very cool. Look at that statue. Ooh, that looks scary. Okay. Um, I hear an onk. Onk. Um, okay, let's go this way, because it doesn't look like we can take the Androsarchus down there. Uh, are you okay on torpidity? It's going up, but it's just... It's hardly a sliver. Oh, I made myself a couple of the uh, tech canteens. Uh, so one holds cold water... And one holds hot water, which will warm you up if you're in a cold area. So. Hmm. That. That's going up, but it's such a small amount that I think we're okay. Kind of stay in the doorway so we can kind of. Send him through the choke point here. Alright, let's grab this. And we've got a. Loot crate there.
Oh, there's a a barrier. So cool, man. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever, we'll take it. Can we go in this door? No. That doesn't go anywhere either. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to go down into that dark room. I don't, I don't think we can take the Andrasarchus down there. So let's... What do you have in your inventory? Eh, none of that stuff really matters. We'll take the venom but i don't think we'll be doing brood mother again but you never know we'll hang on to it okay let's get you on here and uh, no we can keep these on shit i didn't bring any normal armor did i that wasn't very smart okay uh, i suppose we should probably Toggle helmet visor. Yeah. Let me guess. There's spikes down there. Yep, there sure is. Ooh, okay. That's why we got this along. Ah, there's traps too. Okay. So we're kind of back into a labyrinth situation. Stay in the middle of those. I don't know what kind of enemies are going to be down here. Of course, there weren't any enemies in the labyrinth in the the labyrinth section. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, just just in case, it, it, there's nasties out there. Let's bring the circus back out. Wow, look at this room. Woo! Here, let's turn this off. This is cool looking, man. There's no bad guys in here, though, huh? Guess not. All right. Artifact of the cunning. That's what. Not clever cunning. Okay. We got ourselves all of the artifacts that we need for the dragon fight. Let's very carefully turn around here. I'm going to assume those none of those doors open up to anywhere. What a neat looking room. Um, actually, we're going to have to go back through there on foot, so let's hop back off and put you back away. Had to check. <laughs> wow, this is crazy. Oh, it's got a, a thingy anyway, so I guess we can't fall off. Doors to nowhere. Alright, well, now we can say we checked. And we know for sure they don't do anything. Okay, let's put these back on. Make sure we don't step on the dart trigger thingies. Well, that scared me. And then we'll just grapple this this jump could be tricky because you know if you jump too high and hit your head on there you might not make it but we don't got to worry about that with the grappling hook all right well there you have it folks artifact of the cunning 
So we got Skylord, we got Cunning, we have Strong, and we have... Bur uh, wait, actually, I think those are the only three we need. And we have all of them, so we're good to go. This is crazy looking in here. It's like you're, it's a tunnel through obsidian or something. Okay, let's get on back to our bassies. And I think what we'll do for the next part of um, this episode is we'll go after some down into the really deep ocean, uh, underground ocean actually, and uh, see if we can get some more so tentacles and look for some more basilosaurs too. Gotta kill all these guys. Get all the nasties out of the way. Wow, check this place out. I didn't know this was here. This is cool. It's not really a cave though. It's just a ravine with a bunch of crystals. Oh! It is a cave! Oh, check it out! Oh, this is neat. I didn't even know this was here. I kind of like to grab those pearls, actually. I can get up on the shore. There we go. Are you guys all good? Let's grab these pearls. Nice little collection of them. This is kind of like those um, caves on the island. That you can go into and, you know, get a bunch of pearls and stuff. Nice. We don't need oil. Got lots of oil. Wonder what's over on the other side. Probably more pearls. Uh, how many did we get? 591. Nice. Really cool. There's so much eye candy on this map, man. It's a little bit of a ramp here. And we got some jellyfish coming in. Get out of here. Get out of here. You doity rants. Okay, I think we're clear for the moment. Yeah, more pearls. Wow, look at them all. Okay, I think that's it. We walk up this thing. Just looking to see if there's anything up there. Um, are these things anything? No, nope, can't seem to do anything with them. Okay. Let's 
So the entrance to this cave is right here. Uh, it's about as light as I can get the map. So, yep, that's the location of it. Okay. Let's just continue on. We're still looking for basilosaurs. Have not found any more. Oh, there's a Tuso right there. We're not even in the deep part either. Nice. Let's get him. There's two Tusos, it looks like. Oh no, that's a pl Plessy. That ain't gonna work. Kind of works because I can't see where the hell you are. Did we kill the squid? Mm, we might have. Maybe our guys got the or our gal actually has the stuff or it might be in one of these bags. Um, there's a Plessy over there, so we got to be careful. Yep, right there. Beautiful. Back here, let's grab all that. Okay, so we got all of our Tuso tentacles. Now we just need um, some more Basilo blubber. Uh, so we have two of those right at the moment. Um, how heavy am I? Eh, I'm kind of heavy, but not super heavy. Uh, the the bass he is though all right let's just drop this fish meat I want to kind of keep the prime fish we don't need any more shark teeth we've got a bazillion of those we don't really need chitin or keratin we got a lot we got stacks and stacks of that stuff too so let's get rid of that to lighten up a little more uh, there's not much point in throwing that away a lot because he's just going to regenerate it but there we go okay cool so here let's kill the plessy So it's good to know that uh, Tuso's spawn in this area, right next to this big purple crystal thingamadoodle, and real close to where we went into that cave, too, just for future reference. This is pretty cool looking down here. There's just way too many jellyfish and eels, though. It would be... It'd be so difficult to do this without a basilosaur. I mean, even androsarcuses would have trouble, because... You can't get thrown off the saddle, but they still get stunned by the jellies. for this little spot. Looks like we got a leads up there. Oh, there's a, a deep sea crate. Nice. Okay, any nasties around like your riptids or anything? There's a shark incoming there, but I think we can grab this real quick. And doesn't look like anything all that great. Well, we got an Ascendant Tuso saddle. If we were going to actually tame one, but I don't, I'm not planning on it. I don't have any reason to.
Um, by the way, that's where I'm at. Oh, shoot. We, we started going the wrong way. We need to go this way. Uh, for anybody that's interested in where that uh, treasure was. Okay, now am I going the right way now? Yes. Okay. This is just really cool going through here. Except for that part. <laughs> Stupid ass. So this is right about there, right on the 40, 45, 40. What the hell's going on down here? Eel or Nideria or something. Okay, um, I'm going to go grab some more pearls. Hmm. There's... I'm not seeing any pearls, but there's a lot of crystal. Maybe they're over here. Not... Doesn't look like it. Okay, so this cave is crystal... Crystal and oil. The other one's pearls and oil. Alright, good to know. Okay, looks like we got another cave or something here. Somewhere around here too, there's the uh, the underwater biome with the air and stuff in it. Oh, in fact, this is probably it. Yeah, this is it. Okay, cool. Oh, there's a thingy in there. Um, there doesn't appear to be any enemies around. I think we can pass through that barrier. The the wells can't. Uh, oh shit! There are enemies in here. There's a mega mega lania. So this is like an underground jungle biome or something. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. I don't know if I want to go in there. <laughs> I don't. I'm not really equipped for... I, I don't have my good armor. I don't have any stimulant in case I get, you know, poisoned and stuff. Yeah, we might have to do that, save that for another time. Um, here's the cords, by the way. So we're basically now in the 30 longitude line, so about 38, 30. Cool. It's a regular undersea adventure. This is the roof of that place. <gasps> Excuse me. Crazy, man. Okay. Uh, we're stuck. Damn it, Jim. Very cool. So for those of you who don't know, this is the 
entrance to the underground ocean. So we'll pop down there real quick and just take a look. There's usually uh, an alpha mosasaur down here. There's a bunch of normal mosasaurs, and there's usually two sos uh, down here too. And there's um, a, uh, a humongous uh, skeleton of some long dead creature. And there's also a, at least one sea chest down here, maybe even a couple. It's it's also really deep though, so our uh, our companion here is not going to be able to help us at all in terms of fighting, but we'll be fine. Why are you right on my ass? You're supposed to be following from far away. All right, hold on. Let's look around and make sure. Nothing's going to come after us. Here, let's give you... Some of that, some of that, and we'll take the prime off of you. And I think I'm going to drop the rest of this. Okay. Now, I also want you... on a high follow distance. Hmm. I don't know why you're right on my butt. There's a Mosasaur there. Oh, no, that's a Plessy. Uh, is that an Alpha Mo? It's very red looking. Yep, it is. Let's take it on. Level 25. Got 39 black pearls. Um. Oh, we didn't get the tooth. Where the hell's the tooth at? see a floating I don't think you would have got it no because you weren't fighting I don't see um a drop the bag unless it's this but that seems too high up I think that's what yeah no that's what we dropped from this bassy. That's weird. Alright, well, I guess we missed out on the tooth. Maybe you don't always get them? I don't... I do not see a... a satchel thingy around here. Well, we got the pearls and a bunch of prime meat and 15 of, uh, of the rune stones. Okay, well, anyway, let's proceed. It's kind of a bummer. Yeah, so if you've never seen this area, um, it's all under underground. Uh, we're like, well, when I say underground, we're just like in a big cave. But it's a huge cave. And there's lots of mosses in here, as you can see. And usually a Tuso.
There's the leads. And another Mosa. Oh, that's a Alpha leads. Nice. Easy kill. Lots of XP. I don't know why these things are so wimpy. level Mosa. Yeah, let me rest for a second and get some stamina back before I kill you. Another max level Mosa. My goodness. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to throw all this meat out. It's too much. Too much stuff. Uh, we can throw that out too. It's super easy to get the biotoxin stuff. Alright. Uh, I want to see if I can find that undersea crate before we head out. kind of hard sometimes to tell your direction down here. If you can find the big skeleton thing, then that can help be like a guide. Um, Alright, let's just... There's the skeleton thing. Okay. Another Alpha Mosa? Shit. Um, well, we're fine. Here we go again. <laughs> this place is dangerous, man. Level 95 Alpha Mosa. My goodness. Oh, my wrist is killing me. <laughs> we got the tooth this time, though. Whew. Okay. Wow. Our health is still amazing, all things considered. Yeah, let's put the tooth over here. Okay, well, I think it's time for us to get the hell out of here. Um, I think I don't really want to fight another Alpha Mosa. But I think that the if you follow this rib cage thingy just a normal Mosa down a ways um, the sea crate's gonna be to the right of it I think here it is looks like there's black pearls here too uh, anybody coming oh, I think we're good Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the way to find this is basically you go, you follow the the vertebra thing, the monster, all the way to its head, and then the the crate is just to the right um, of its head up here on this little flat area. There might be another one down here, too, but that's the only one that I know for sure where it is. And then you don't want to go all the way up to the head where that purple glowing stuff is because it's irradiated. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to wrap up this episode here. I'm going to head on home. Um, might do a deep dive down through here to see if I can find one more, too. So not that we need. We have an, enough now, though. 
But, uh... Oh, what the hell's going on? Oh, plussy. Um, anyway, yeah, we're gonna wrap up the episode here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep hunting for Basilosaurs until we get the Blubber, because I think once we get that, we have everything we need to fight the Alpha Dragon. So let's tentatively plan on doing that in the next episode. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this undersea adventure we had. This was a lot of fun. Got, got to see a lot of cool stuff. Uh, and we will catch you guys all in the next episode. See ya.